Buenos Dias Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Uh. It goes that other one. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. You said that other one. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. See more motherfuckers, another one. Bye, 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 bye. Or did I get all into it, huh? Earth, wind, and fire. Now trip out. As you can see by that thumbnail right there, we're going to talk about something exclusive, something a lot of people don't want. There's whispers, right? But they ain't trying to speak on it, man. They're trying to talk about other people, but not themselves, man. Um, There's a lot of people that fall off, right? When you become a gang member, everything's cool, man. Oh, everything's crimson and clove. Guard! Everything's good in the hood. But, and there's a big but, and it ain't a big but and a smile. This ain't poison. This ain't no Belle Biv DeVoe song. This is real life, right? There's rules and regulations and politics that you're going to have to adhere to. You're going to have to fucking follow. And if you don't follow the rules, homeboy, then at any point in time, you could be that next casualty. You could be Bamanos, Bamuskis, the next shoot the moon, shoot the moon, the next one that's the fuck up out of there. Uh, but a lot of people nowadays are choosing to do that themselves. They're not trying to go through the hardships and the struggle of being a Norteño or a Sureño or a Crip or a Blood or a Latin King or a Fresno Bulldog or anything that it is, right? They're rolling it up from the gate. Now, we've all, anyone who's been in the game, that was thick in the game, went through a struggle. It's just part of it, man. You got to understand that when you sign on that dotted line, when you sign up for this shit, that you're going to go through struggle, Wes. It's going to be a lot of struggle, right? In fact, it's going to be more struggle than you've ever seen in your whole life, as it is. And you're going to have to go through whatever you have to go through. Many changes, man. Being up short without a paddle, that shit creep, right? Um, and doing a whole lot of things that you necessarily wouldn't want to do. Part of the game. Chalk it up to the game. You know what you signed up for. There's going to be all those agitators and people that talk all that high power shit and troll you and say, hey, homie, you couldn't hack it or you couldn't hang. And that's totally up to you on how you dust yourself off and try again, how you clean your shoulders off and keep on pushing. Nobody can do your time for you. Nobody can live that gang life for you. No one can do it but yourself. How you do it and what's instilled in you and the heart that you got while doing it is totally on you. Facts. Now, lately there's been a lot of guys that have fallen on the wayside, right? No, I'm not talking about wayside in LA. I'm talking uh, LA County. I'm talking about they've fallen off the wayside. They fell off, right? And a lot of guys like to talk a lot of high power shit about people that actually had careers, that actually went through struggles, that actually was really gang banging, actually and factually on the streets, that was putting in that work. Now, I'm not here to disrespect anyone and say everyone ain't about that. I'm just saying you have to look at yourself in the mirror and think about what you're saying before you say it when you try to slander another man's character. Let me see. My eyebrows are looking all fucking shot out right here. So that's good with little ones I got left from all the scar tissue. Bam. Let me do it like that. Because I'm, I'm getting personal on this shit. Now, um, people that fall off in the back of cop cars or fall off before they even hit the county jail, how the fuck do they have a voice or an opinion in anything on YouTube, in life as in general, or anything when it comes to being gang related? Now, none of us that are non-active should be speaking on certain elements of the game, period. We shouldn't have spoke on it when we were active, and we definitely shouldn't speak on it when we're not active, Right. But everybody who's not active, doesn't matter if you pretend to be active, if you think you are, or whatever the case may be, you're all thrown into that fucking same pot and stirred up. It's all the same, homie. You can't be a little bit less PC than a PC. You can't be more SNY than a SNY. You can't do none of that. It is what it is, homes. You're all on the same boat, right? I'm not active. I chose to go out there to that yarda and pull a movida that was going to jeopardize my career, that was going to jeopardize everything I struggled and fought for my whole life up until that point. I knew what I had coming. I know what I have coming. Hey, I'm not the type of motherfucker to sugarcoat or add preservatives and act like I don't know what it is, right? I know what it is. I don't have to fake or pretend or tell people or convince people how cool I am. I say, I know I'm cool, right? And I'm cool because I say it, not because anyone else does. See, I have nothing to prove right here in this YouTube yada. I have nothing to prove to anyone in life. The only thing I have to prove is to my family, to myself, and to my wallet, which right now I haven't proven shit to my wallet. Not enough. And I'm going to continue to prove that because you see that wallet right there? That wallet needs a lot of improvement, and I'm going to get that. Now, people that fall off doesn't mean they're a bad person. It doesn't mean they couldn't hack it or they couldn't take it. There's a lot of reasons behind it. Sometimes your old lady is boning that black dude next door and you ju it just hurts, eh? It hurts your heart, doesn't it? Right? It fucking just 
every time you think about it, you just fart. You know what I mean? It just, it just hurts you. Um, and you can't get over that and you're incarcerated and you're like, you know what? Guard! So scared, can't take. Why she treat, I don't know why, baby. Why she treat me the way they do the thing she do. Right, you know, she's over there doing that thing she do with Leroy Brown, right? And he's over there giving her that, that player from the Himalaya. You know what I mean? Look at them white shoes. And there ain't nothing you can do about that. So there's a lot of different reasons why guys fall off. But I think the most hilarious and craziest shit is guys that fall off in the cop car, or guys that fall off before they even hit county jail. At least get a taste, that's it. Get a sample. Get an hors d'oeuvre. Hey, see if it really is for you or it isn't. You can't be wearing red ponios, blue rags, all this shit, gang banging, tattoos, high power, pulling out wet this BB guns, whatever it is that you're utilizing, right, and using, and acting all high power and tough and having funny haircuts and all this. And then when they put you in the back of the cop car, <laughs> you can't breathe. That's it. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. There's a pain in my chest and I can't breathe. Yeah, there's a pain in your chest. You know what that pain is? It's called cowardice. It's a cowardice act. At least if you're going to be about the business, if you're going to pretend to be about the business, be about it for a little while in county jail. Don't lock it up from the gate. You know, there's a lot of people that lock it up along the ways of their careers or not even necessarily lock up. Some are removed. Some are whacked. Um, some shit, they, it's, it's a wrap. You know what I mean? They, they will not come back from which the dust they came from. There's a lot of different things that happen in elements in the game, and we need to address them situations. See, everyone's talking about gangbanging and the shootings, and it's cool, and politics, and this and that, but nobody's talking about the other side of the coin, Holmes. They're not talking about the other side, it's it, and what goes on, and, and, and what makes you go to that point or come to that point. It's not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing after you've lived your life for so long and went through so much hardships to look yourself in the mirror and realize your career's over. The homeboys that fucked with you yesterday ain't fucking with you no more, no more. No more shopping sprees. No more late night creeps. No more VIPs. See, we can't kick it no more. They're not kicking it with you. You're trying to hold on like in vogue to something that, hey, it's, it's a cliffhanger. I said, just fall. Just fucking fall already. You're done. Career's over. You need to be able to accept that, look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, I got to move on with my life and do something different because obviously I wasn't cut from that cloth. I, it didn't work out for me, depending upon the reason. But the guys that go through all this and have hit main lines, four yards, general populations, that'll be me, and different, different spots. And then something happens that's unbecoming or they get in a wreck or anything that could happen, man. Um, and then it just is what it is. It doesn't mean they deserve more respect. Then the next man, because like I said, it's a starting line, homes, and we're all right there. Anyone who's non-active, who has dropped out, or who has decided that for some other reason that they no longer want to be involved in the reindeer games, then they're no better than the next man. They can't expose or slander the I mean, they can, but what does it count for? I'm a PC, and I'm going to call you a PC. You, you see me? <laughs> it's hilarious, right? It's hilarious, man. PCs calling each other PCs, man. Rather unbecoming on YouTube and funny style and funny shit, right? Um, but anyways, I digress. One thing I will say, though, that is facts is anyone of these guys nowadays, man, that has fell off in a cop car or never even tasted the county jail's uh, uh, mainline supper, you can't, you can't speak on the next man. Stop it, bro. You know, there's nothing you could do or say because... You know, you could you could act cool later on and meet a few fellas, man, that like you um, because, you know, what I mean, that, that you're drinking that I do juice or whatever. Um, and it's cool. And you can convince them how solid and how hard you are. But deep down in your, inside in your in the pit of your stomach, you know what it is, man. You know, you ain't never had a hoop up or nothing like that. Mm -mm. See, then you didn't go through that. So then you talk shit about those who did. You can't talk. A sh you can't talk shit about those that are in, still in the game function or that those that once did a certain thing that you're just jealous that you didn't do. Yeah, it was on you. That was on you. These guys that lock it up before they even hit county jail, man, what is their resume? What can they say they've ever done? You're not a defender, homie. You're a pretender. There's no way that you can go to anywhere, bro, and hold your head up high and say, I'm about that business because I'm about about it. I mean, she rowdy rowdy. Yeah, she's rowdy rowdy on the negro's nuts. That's it. So I scared. Nobody's trying to fuck with you. So um, I'm not here to clown or ridicule a guy who locks it up. You know, for whatever reason, he's did his thing. He's did his thing. And I'm not talking about one particular person. But if the shoe fits, wear it. You know what I mean? Sasuke pro wing. You know, I'm, I'm just saying 
You know, people that, that talk high power shit. And, you know, I noticed that a lot of guys that haven't been anywhere or a lot of guys that only been to like, like level two yards and things like that, chicken ranches, they like to fucking talk a lot of shit about people and expose them and, and spit game and, and do this and slander them constantly for attention. You know, those that shouldn't want the attention are the main ones that want it. So they try to flaunt it. It's crazy, right? This world that we live in. I don't like to address certain individuals. You know, I like to I like to sit back in the cuts, bro. And give everyone a chance to keep on talking. They like to say the gun talks, but everyone else keeps on talking. I'm going to tell you what the gun does. The gun just sits back and does my own program, you know, and then I have to utilize my voice, my platform to make a video that the people can really feel active and non-active, man. Stop faking the funk. Bet you buy you down. Could you buy you move? Orderly. Feel the funk, babe. Feel the funk. You know, let your body take your mind into a place. They're on their Batman shit. Feeling the funk. And faking it at the same time. Come on now, we don't get down like that over here, man. It is what it is or it is what it isn't, man. Straight up. No added preservatives. Fuck all the bullshit, man. Let's just be real here. Cut and dry. People that fall off before they even hit a county jail can't sit here and proclaim gangster. There is no G in you, MC8. It's just not going to happen. Quick said that best. You know, um, but I've been noticing that's a trend. You know, the trend is a lot of people are falling off. A lot of people are switching up and going to the other side for whatever the case may be. Maybe they're not impressed by the politics. They feel oppressed as a people, as a hand did. They don't feel things are going their way. I ain't going to lie, man. At one point in time during my career, that's how I felt. I felt like we were oppressing certain youngsters or certain people, man, that didn't have it coming. You know, I seen a lot of dirty politics and a lot of bullshit get played out on people that didn't have that coming or didn't deserve it. And I'm here to tell you, first and foremost, I raised my hand, man. I participated in it right along with the rest of the hand thing. But it became bad when it affected me. And how did it affect me? Because my true beliefs and what I believed in started to become tainted. I started to become jaded in what I was doing. I started to realize what I was doing was not what I was doing it for. And once you start to realize that as a gang member, man, everything that you've ever been told, all the education that's been instilled, and I'm not talking about one particular group, I'm talking about anyone, myself, period. You know, if you start to become jaded and not truly believe, and you're not a, you're not a, a firm believer or a true believer anymore, then you got to go, I say. And those that want to ridicule a person for stepping away and saying, hey, Holmes, it's not for me anymore. This is not why I'm doing this. You know, hey, they got that coming. They could talk all the shit they want, but at the end of the day, when they're on the other side, you know, them same vaultas you were talking about, you're going to be sitting there busting a spread with on that SNY yard. It's, it's just facts. It's just the way it is, man. You know, um, I'm going to tell you a quick little story, you know, uh, and we'll get back to guys that fall off in cop cars, you know, because they're still in there going <laughs> sniveling, right? So um, there was a guy named Wero from Sakran. Good hinting, man. I was with him in Tracy, DVI, and some vato had come onto the Thira that had bad paperwork. He just wasn't in the best of, uh, of stand, of, uh, you know, of, of his stance, uh, best of standings, and he needed to be moved on. He needed to be moved on righteously and as fast as possible. So the plan went down, man. Yarda, yard recall, you know what it is. Anyone that's been through the motions, um, it was about to go down. They were going to uh, put some metal on this guy. Now, before we could hit the yard, man, uh, a Paloma got shot out of Wila saying, no weaponry, this Vato's not going to get removed with weaponry. Just beat him up. Okay, um, so Weddle was actually part of the, he was a bomber, meaning he was going to go and put hands on this guy after this Vato got hit. So when he got told, because he was on the squad, that he was not going to be uh, using weaponry, no weaponry was going to be involved, this Vato, hey, he got scared, man. He got scared and he went to fucking, uh, he went to uh, the, what do you call it, the infirmary, the hospital, and never came back. He rolled it up. That's the way fools wiggle. They'll go to like a lawyer visit or visit, visiting and never come back. It was the homeboy Wero. Sasuke, he's over there. There's, there's no love. He's over there fucking chilling on J-Wing, right? You know, with fucking, uh, with all these other authors. So he, he bounced. He bounced on us. And we were like, damn, right? So we had to revise the plan or whatever went down. And anyways, the pegada happened. Things happened. Um, no weaponry involved. And I told that story about a author from Tracy that got whacked. Now, bam, he's gone. He's about the way. Um, we forget all about Wero, you know what I mean? But hey, I'm going to keep it right here in my memory, right? So years pass, you know, and I find myself in Jamestown, a three-yard man, non-active, 50-50 yard, chilling with the homies. And who comes walking up Wero? And his eyes get all big and my eyes get all big. And I'm like, what happened, bro? 
And he was like, man, I thought I thought I was gonna get whacked for I did. You know what I mean? No weaponry shit. You know how we get down and, and, and scare the shit out of me. And I said, bro, you should have just went out there and handled your business. And, you know, I could sit there and tell him. He was like, well, well wait up. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> um, and it was like a family reunion. We went, hey, well, secret handshake, secret handshake. You know what I mean? No more shopping sprees. And we were kicking and doing our thing. Um, but I seen how it looked to him. He thought that he was going to get backdoored. He thought his own people were going to pull a movida, a jack move on his ass, right? He thought we were going to get jack on pitas. And that's just not what it was, man. He definitely... Uh, uh, rolled it up for no reason, but that was his thing. And I've seen that all different situations, any different situation you could think of, you know, um, people that have bad paperwork, people that, you know, get out and they're righteous dude. And then, and then next thing you know, homes, they're SPMing it out there. You know what I mean? And, and they meet a young, a younger lady and they're washed up, you know, um, so many different situations. But one thing I've never met personally is someone who locked it up in the cop car or someone who didn't even get a taste of the County jail blues. You need to at least, before you can address anyone or say anything, man, have a resume saying that you hit a general population mainline at least one time. One time. One time for your mind. You know what I mean? Bang, bang. Original gunner gang. You have to go and do that. Until then, Sasuke, come on, homes. Your word is mierda. It's aitu juice. Your word is equivalent to aitu juice. Aitu. I like your shoes. I like your pants. Why don't you take off your pants? Wait up, this vato's not even in the county. He already took off his pants, right? And that's it. You just can't do it. So you can't speak on it. Um, but there's a lot of people that are doing that nowadays. They're falling off on the calles. Sasuke, am I going to jail? Hey, hey, hey Sasuke, we're going to go do, do this movida? Is there a chance I get out? No, I'm going to drop out right now. Sasuke, so that they already know. Right when, right from the gate. You know, vatos are just, they're thinking it's the thing to do now. It's becoming a trend. It's like a TikTok dance, right? Vatos over there like, hey, hey, Sasuke, I guess what I think I'm going to do today for, for my TikTok channel. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna drop out. <laughs> you know, it's just different, man. I'm not making light or fun of it um, because I am on the other side because I am not active, man. And everybody knows my story. And if you don't know, now you know. But one thing I'll say for sure is um, no one, anyone should be speaking on anybody, man, if you don't have a resume. You know, if and <clears throat> it's just the way it is. You know, people can talk all that high power shit and everything that they want to talk about. But man, if you fell up in the wee, 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 then you got to stop. You need to stop. And that's just what it is, man. And respects. Respects are given to everybody that does talk that shit, that feels that they're in a position to do that. Hey, it is what it is, man. Just, you know, deep down at night when your old lady's sitting there fucking clipping your toenails, the dark ass ugly ones, you have to think to yourself and think like, damn, bro, why am I doing this? What am I achieving out of it? A few views or... Or, or some acknowledgement from some total strangers. I don't know, man. At the end of the day, Balki Bartakumus is not going to be your perfect stranger, okay? Um, if anything, bro, you're in the same boat as I am and in that fashion. With that being said, man, all I can say to these youngsters, man, that think it's cool to gangbang and do all that, if you're going to do it, I say at least hit the county jail active and, and get a taste. Then if you want to do what you got to do, I'm not going to poison you. Do what you got to do. But Sam is scared, man. You know what I mean? Don't fall off in the like a cat cow, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Hey, at the end of the day, what does it matter? It's just fun, man. Fun and games. I'm having fun with this shit. Um, and I'm gonna continue to do what I does. Don't get mad. Don't get mad at anybody. I'm not talking about one particular person, but there's one particular person we could all talk about. Okay, no? Um, this is the gun, man. I'm having fun with it. Respects. And uh, with that being said, move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming to you. Happy weekend. Happy Saturday, man. Enjoy your life. Live your best life, man. Um, and remember, if you get locked up tonight, fuck, give it a chance, eh? You might like it. You never know. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for those who have been on general population once upon a time. Uh, not for those who got put in a pod with a whole bunch of guys and then started gangbanging and claiming something different and got a whole bunch of tattoos. You're, my time is up. The gun. Just like his was in the cop park. Bang, bang.